Scary Hours 3, this is what we wanted. He actually tacked it on to the album for All My Dogs or Where My Dogs At, DMX Voice, Where My Dogs At, whatever that album is called. <laughs> I'm not the biggest Drake fan, but I do appreciate Drake when he's in his bag and he's rapping, rapping. This EP is dope, man. Thank you for watching the E for One podcast. If you don't know, I'm Anthony AP. Like this video, but I would greatly appreciate you to subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Anyway, back to Scary Hours 3. This joint right here is dope. This is what we have wanted us hip hop purists for Drake to do for a very long time, and that's rap. Get back to your rapping, rapping, get in your bag. Regardless of what many other YouTube pundits might say, is Drake going in hard on Pusha T on this album? Is he going hard at Joe Button on this album? Does he have words for Yeezy on this EP? Yeah, Drake does get at all three of those guys right there. But Drake is just basically giving a strip down like no R&B hookish material. I think on one of the songs he does sing a little bit, but he does do like a chorus on a hook. But I mean, other than that, Drake is in his bag. You know, he is rapping on this joint. And this is what this is what I wanted from Drake. I want Drake. I love Drake when he rhymes. He gives us those smooth lines. And yeah, I love it when he talks about the women. He talks about the chicks. I mean, in a rapping, rapping type of way, not necessarily on an R&B vocalist singing kind of way all the time. But yeah, this this album is extremely quality music. Little Yachi, he did Red Button, uh, track one. Track two, Story About My Brother, which is very dope, was produced by C C Conductor. Conductor. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor, we have a problem. This isn't the first time that Drake has collaborated with Conductor. Conductor did um, 8 a.m. in Charlotte. And the thing I like about Conductor from my point of view is that he brings that soul he he brings something to the table that drake needs that that underground production feel uh, if you don't know about conductor you should because he's been producing for conway and west side gun the whole griselda crew uh, he did production on rome streets new album very very dope so conductor is literally in my top three producers right now i love his instrument you know i love his instrumentation i love the way he freaks his samples uh in a unique way the most the, the number one thing i do i have to be fully full disclosure fully transparent the number one thing i do love about conductor conductors conductors production is his tags like he has the most unique unique tags for a producer con con conductor if you don't know what a tag is that's just the producer saying his name over the track you know like how a producer zaytoven you know says his name uh you know he has a tag a lot of a lot of producers have their own tags you know that they use but conductors conductors tag is so unique depending on the frequency <laughs> <laughs> that the artist wants him to use it over the track it, it can literally go on for like 30 seconds over a track but uh, i love conductor i love hearing drake over his production um like i said little yachi he did two joints on this album he also did the shoe fits and the alchemist legendary producer the alchemist i'm glad the alchemist is getting a chance to shine on the big stage once again alchemist always shines on the big stage he's been producing for the last 25 you know years so he's long time vet living legend alchemist who's also one of my favorite producers he did wick man uh then we got number uh, track five evil ways by boy wonder and track six is uh you broke my heart uh produced by fnns and vinyls yeah man really really dope production